he thought he was saving a few dollars per head. A simple calculation, really. What he didn't calculate was the true cost of that decision. It's a mistake that costs ranchers thousands, and it often starts with one of the healthiest, fastest growing animals in the herd. An animal that looks perfect at sundown, but is dawn by sunrise. And the most frustrating part? The loss was almost 100% preventable. Today, we're not just talking about cattle health, we're talking about profit protection. We're diving deep into one of the most common, yet most devastating financial leaks on a cattle operation, a leak caused by skipping one specific crucial vaccine in your fattening program. This isn't just theory, this is a real story with real consequences and a lesson that could save your best animals and your bottom line. So what happened? Let's call our rancher John. John had a great set of steers. They were gaining weight beautifully on a high energy diet designed for rapid growth. He'd invested in good genetics, good feed, and good management. He was proud of them. One morning, during his daily check, he found one of his top performing steers dead. No signs of a struggle, no obvious injuries. It had been one of his best, full of life just the evening before. He was confused and angry. A few days later, it happened again. Another prime animal gone without warning. What John was facing is the silent killer in many fattening operations, clostridial disease. You may know it by its more common names like blackleg or malignant edema. These aren't viruses you can see coming. They are caused by a type of bacteria, clostridium, that is everywhere. It's in the soil, it's in the dust. It can even live harmlessly inside the animal's own digestive tract, just waiting. And that is the key. It waits. It waits for the perfect opportunity. So what is that opportunity? In fattening cattle, the conditions are ideal. Think about it. These animals are on a rich, high grain diet. This changes the environment in their gut, making it more favorable for these bacteria to multiply. More importantly, these animals are growing muscle at an incredible rate. Any small bruise, even from bumping against a feeder or another animal, can create a small area of damaged muscle tissue deep inside the body. This damaged tissue has very little oxygen, and that is exactly what clostridial bacteria love, an anaerobic environment, a place without oxygen. Once they find that spot, they multiply with explosive speed, releasing powerful toxins. These toxins destroy surrounding muscle and tissue, producing gas and more toxins, leading to massive internal damage, shock, and a very rapid, very certain death. Often, by the time you see any sign that something is wrong, like a limp or swelling, it's already far too late. There is no effective treatment. There is only prevention. This is why John's best, fastest growing animals were the ones paying the price. Their rapid growth and high metabolism made them the most susceptible. The very success of his feeding program created the perfect storm for this disease. He had done everything right, except for one small, inexpensive step. He had skipped the seven-way or eight-way clostridial vaccine. He thought maybe they'd gotten a shot as young calves and that was enough. Or perhaps he bought them from a source where the vaccination history was unclear and he decided to take the risk to save a few dollars. Have you ever been in that position, weighing the cost of a vaccine against the hope that nothing will go wrong? It's a gamble that, sooner or later, does not pay off. The cost of one lost steer, an animal worth maybe $1,500 or $2,000, would have paid for the vaccination of his entire herd many times over. And here's the detail that trips up so many producers, even those who do vaccinate. The protection isn't just about giving the shot. It's about giving it correctly and at the right time. A single shot is often not enough to provide lasting immunity. Young calves typically need an initial dose followed by a booster dose three to six weeks later. This booster is not optional. The first shot introduces the immune system to the enemy. The second shot, the booster, is what solidifies the training, creating a strong and lasting defense. 
Skipping that booster is like teaching a soldier to recognize a tank, but never teaching him how to actually stop it. For fattening cattle entering a feedlot, this is non-negotiable. They are entering the highest risk environment of their lives. A pre-entry booster shot is one of the best investments you can make. It ensures their immunity is at its peak right when they need it most. Let's break down the most common errors so you can avoid them. First is the cost-saving fallacy. As we saw with John, trying to save $5 on a vaccine can cost you $2,000 on a lost animal. The math is simple and it's brutal. Proactive herd health is always cheaper than reactive disaster management, always. Second is the one and done mistake, believing a single shot provides lifelong immunity. Most clostridial vaccines require a booster for full effectiveness. Read the label on the vaccine bottle. It will tell you the protocol. Follow it religiously. Your veterinarian can also help you design the perfect schedule for your specific operation. Third is improper handling. Vaccines are sensitive biological products. Leaving them on the dashboard of your truck in the sun or using dirty needles can render them completely useless. You might go through all the motions of vaccinating, but you're injecting your cattle with nothing more than false hope. Keep your vaccines cool, use a clean needle for every 10 to 15 animals, and follow proper injection techniques, usually subcutaneous or under the skin. So what is the right way, the gold standard practice? For young calves, vaccinate between two and four months of age with a seven or eight way clostridial vaccine. Follow up with a booster as recommended by the manufacturer, typically in about four weeks. For cattle entering a feedlot or any high growth feeding program, give them a booster two to three weeks before they start on the new ration. This simple protocol is your insurance policy. It's your shield against this invisible enemy. The lesson from John's expensive experience is clear. In the business of raising cattle, some corners just cannot be cut. The health and productivity of your herd are built on a foundation of smart, consistent, preventative care. It's not about spending more money. It's about investing it wisely where it provides the greatest return. And I can tell you right now, there are few investments with a higher return on investment than a complete and correct vaccination program. It protects your animals, it protects your hard work, and it protects your wallet. John learned this lesson the hard way, but you don't have to. The knowledge is right here. The tools are available. The decision to act is yours. This channel is more than just videos. It's a community for ranchers, farmers, and cattle enthusiasts who believe in working smarter, not just harder. We believe in proven science and practical experience to improve our operations one animal at a time. If this information was valuable to you, and if you believe in building a more profitable and sustainable future for your farm, then do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. And now, I want to hear from you. Tell us in the comments, what is the one preventative measure you never, ever skip on your operation? Your experience could be the piece of advice someone else needs to hear today. Let's share our knowledge and grow together. Finally, if you know another producer who could benefit from this message, share this video with them. You might just save them from learning this lesson the hard way. Thank you for joining us. Let's keep learning. Stay safe and farm smart.